Hey everybody, it's Dawn again with Pamper Your Senses, and today we're going to try to make a soap with Fruit Loops fragrance from Aztec Candle Supply. I have been buying fragrances from them for a long time, and I have never gotten a bad fragrance from them. I really like their fragrances. Okay, I've already got all my oils and butters melted and ready to go. I did add my kaolin clay, some milk powder to this uh, batter, and my liquid heavy cream. And then with my lye water, I have the uh, sodium lactate and organic sugar mixed in, which the, the sugar helps aid in more bubbles. So let's go ahead and see if you guys can see. I'm going to go ahead and put the lye water in. I'm hoping to use all six colors. Give this, give this a quick mix. I do not want to over mix this batter because this, like I said, this recipe, I love this recipe, but it also will set real fast, really fast. And more than likely, what I'm going to do, because see it's already getting really thick, what I'll do is I'll probably just mix the colors up and just kind of plop them in the mold, layer the, the colors. Then I'm hoping to set aside a little bit of white to use. I'm going to do this one more time. <laughs> white to pipe on the top. And then if I have any of the little bits of pieces of each color, I'm going to kind of just sprinkle on top of the white. <laughs> At least that's what the plan is. But when it comes to making soap and adding your fragrances and all your colors. And I am I'm gonna go ahead and put the fragrance in. Cause like I said, if the batter gets thick, I'm planning on just plopping it in anyways. <laughs> I've never used this fragrance from Aztec before, but I have heard of other soapers using it and had good luck, so I'm hoping I'll have good luck with it too. And it does, it smells just like Fruit Loops. It makes you want to go get a bowl of Fruit Loops. Good thing I don't have any in the house right now because I would probably be eating Fruit Loops and not making soap. <laughs> and I don't need to be doing that. I think what I'm going to do is pour off some of this so that I can, I did get it to emulsify, I did not want it to trace, get it to trace because like I said with this recipe, it will set up fast. Okay, I think what I'll do is go ahead. I don't know, that might need a little more. If I say that and it probably won't. Go ahead and mix up some titanium dioxide in the white and then get it set to the side out of the way. Seems like as soon as you add your <laughs> titanium dioxide with the extra liquid of the water, it seems like always for me it takes longer to set. So I will go 
ahead and get this mixed and set it out of the way and then work on the other colors. And I will probably have a huge mess going on. Try to pour them off equally. I know I will have probably extra batter. It does smell really good. And some people just love the fruit fragrances. Some of them hate it. It's like my husband, he absolutely hates it when I fix anything that smells like food because the soap. Because he's like, okay, where's the, where's the pie at? He always just thinks it's so mean. So far, the fragrance is behaving really nice. Let's see if you can see. I'm going to put some orange. And this is from the Pamper Your Senses Mica Collection. This is the Sunray Orange. Get that mixed up. I need to get some little bell whisks because it would help with the doing the mica colors without accelerating my trace with the stick blender. Okay, and here is the Irish Green. Now with this green, the first time I used it, I about freaked out because it was like, oh no, it's turning an olive color and I was happy when it relaxed and started curing out. It immediately went back to the, the green, the color that's in the bag. This one's Make Me Blush. Way too much. Stick blender. Yeah, my white is starting to set up really nice. So by the time I get to where I'm wanting to be, or get done with all the other colors, then hopefully the white will be set up enough to be pipeable.
Okay. Get my mold over here. Check all my colors. We're starting to get to the, about the consistency I want. Now, if I didn't want it at this consistency, they would have already been really thick or still really runny. I am soaping at room temperature again. Make sure you guys can see. All I'm going to do is just start plopping a little bit in. I think I'll stop here. What I'll do is let the white continue to set up. It's getting there. It's almost there now. So what I'll do is I'll clean this up a little bit. I'll show you. I'll clean it up a little bit and I will bring you back when I when I pipe. Okay, everybody, we're back. We're going to try to get this piped. The batter might be still just a little bit too runny. We're going to go ahead and try it. Now what I'm going to try to do is I think I might just take the skewer, try to put some on, maybe.
I think I'll just split it down and leave it at that. I changed my mind. I'm not going to leave it at that. <laughs> Don't know if I should swirl the top or just leave it. I'll just leave it. We'll see how it looks, and if I don't ever if I don't like this look, and you guys don't care for it, it I will just never do it again. All right, guys, here we go. Here's our Fruit Loops, and like I said, this green will change color several different times, and then it will relax and go back down to the the Irish green. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll bring you back for the cutting. Hi everybody, it's Dawn again with Pamper Your Senses and back to cut the Fruit Loops that we made the other day. This is what it turned out looking like. You can see on the sides. And it smells really good. <laughs> now I can see why it is a fragrance that so many people like. Let's cut off a little end piece here. Ooh, that's pretty. I love how all the colors come together. I guess I'll show you the top. A couple little air bubbles there. Not too bad. This is why we just kind of plopped it all in there, layered it up, and plopped it in. off my wire. And there we go guys. That is our last piece. If you're interested in any of these soaps, please don't hesitate to ask me. You can contact us on our Facebook page. I seem to have pictures loaded on that faster than any of the other areas. Alright, thanks for watching.